Hi, welcome to Tuesdays with Tara. I'm Tara Abundance, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about what it means to claim and own our gifts. And what that really means is recognizing what is a little bit extra special about yourself and then owning it, accepting it, claiming it, and living into it and thriving in it by sharing it with others. So think for a moment about some of the special things that people have noticed about you or that you know about yourself. You know, what are things that you're very good at? Or what are things that just come naturally to you? You don't have to think about it. They are just things you do. When I was a young child, I started singing very young, very, very early. And I could match pitches and I could sing along with songs by the time I was four. That became my gift. And that became something that not only did I own it and claim it, and accept it and live into it, it became my career. It became the thing that I did for a living. So for many years, I sang in bands and groups and choirs. And I also taught voice lessons for over 20 years. And I've met some of the most important people in my life through teaching voice or through teaching classes and workshops. So it's something that I love and something that I definitely still enjoy doing and sharing and teaching and expressing through my voice. The thing is, for many years, I lost my voice. For many years, I couldn't sing. And so I never had it tested and never had it checked, but I'm pretty sure I had vocal nodes on my vocal cords. And even the best singers out there uh, end up getting, having damage to their voice if they overuse them. And that's what I did. I overused my voice. It's something that I pushed myself to do because it was something I was good at and it came naturally to me. But when you do that all the time, it can wear your vocal cords down. So when we think about things that we are very good at, things that we are gifted at, and then we claim them fully, and then we live as if those are our only gifts, or that's the only thing we have to offer the world. Problem is that sometimes we can lose it, which is exactly what happened to me. Now, there's other gifts that we have that can be things that people don't necessarily see, certain types of behaviors or emotional connections to things. We could have psychic powers. We could be empaths. We could be highly sensitive. We can be healers. We can do things that with our hands, with our brains, with our minds, with our awareness. We can hear things that other people can't hear, see things that other people can't see. And those are considered gifts. Now, the problem with those gifts is that a lot of people don't get them. A lot of people don't understand them. And so they either abuse them by abusing the person who has the gift to some degree or another, whether it's bullying or using that person's gift for their benefit, but not really offering any support in return. And the problem with that is that we don't necessarily lose that gift, but we end up hiding it. And so when we think about our gifts, we have to find a balance that works in our bodies, our minds, our hearts, and in society. So when we overuse or overexert or hide or do whatever we can to, to accept and claim our gifts, but also maybe not claim them to their fullest or claim them too much as if that's the only thing we have to offer. Basically, we get imbalanced. And so this imbalance can really throw our body, mind, spirit, soul into a tailspin. And basically what ends up happening is our bodies are going to suffer. Our bodies will somehow take on a, a belief or feel stiff and, and unhappy and uncomfortable because we're holding on to something to not let people see it. And sometimes because our gifts are things uh, that are affected by other people, you know, other people's energies or other people's acceptance or whatever, we start putting ourselves down for our gifts. And so something that I really want to share with you today is it really becomes necessary and important for us to become clear, you know, on how much to use our gifts, how, where to use our gifts, 
who to give our gifts away to or who, how to use our gifts in a way that supports us as well. So think about your gifts. What is something that you're very good at? You could be a natural engineer. You could have a very intelligent brain or you could have a very intelligent emotional awareness. You can have a very highly skilled talent for playing music or building things or anything like that. Stuff that you use your hands, your mind, your energy, your, your, and the, and something that you love, something that feels natural and feels really good to you. And think about that one gift, the one that pops into your head first, for whatever reason in this moment, the one that I talked about earlier comes to mind, my singing ability. So I haven't used my singing ability to make money in a long time. And part of the reason for that is because when I lost my voice, it took a very long time for it to come back. And I had to use all the same tools that I used for my students for myself. The other thing that I did is I rested. I rested my voice. Basically, I used my voice in a lot of ways to prove myself to others. Like, look, I've got this gift. I felt very confident about my gift. And it was one of those things that I was like, I got a lot of compliments for that gift. And every time somebody would compliment me, I would truly take it in. Thank you so much. And it would mean something to me. And at the same time, after a while, your body starts seeking out that approval. And so that supported me. But after a while, I didn't feel like I could function without it. And that was one of the reasons that I lost my voice, I think. Emotionally, it was like I was seeking approval, seeking approval. So I would use my voice over and over again to gain approval when in fact, my voice wasn't my only gift. And so when I think about my, the one gift that pops into my head right now is my voice. So I'm going to ask you to do the same thing. Take a moment, just feel into your body, feel into your mind, feel, feel into your thoughts and just ask yourself, which gift would like to be recognized right now? Okay. And as you take that thought about that gift, what is the first thought that comes to mind? For me, it was, yeah, but you lost it. It was good, but you lost it. That was the first thought that popped into my head just now when I thought about my voice. What was your first thought? Was it positive? Was it not so positive? Was it supportive? Not so supportive? So hear that voice, okay? I'm not gonna try to make that voice go away and be like, yeah, but, and then try to explain myself away because basically that's me trying to prove myself to myself, okay? So what I'm gonna do is hear that voice. I'm gonna hear it. Okay, you're right. I did lose it and just breathe you know, for yourself, whether it's positive, it was a positive feeling message or negative feeling message, just say to yourself, yep, okay, I hear you. And just breathe. Now think about your gift again. Is there another thought that pops into your head about your gift? It's scary for me, it was, it's scary to share it. Now that kind of is the case for pretty much all my gifts. Sometimes it can be pretty scary to share it because people could abuse it. People could overuse it. People could make fun of it. People could judge it, okay? So as I'm thinking about my gift and I'm turning inward and I'm hearing the messages, okay. That one for me was, it can be scary sometimes to share my gift. <sighs> Breathing. Okay, just breathe. Now think about your gift again. Is there another message that maybe your gift or your inner voice or your thoughts, your mind or your heart would like to share about your gift? Good. Listen to that. Listen to that message. Okay. Just think about it and repeat it in your mind or out loud and just say, I hear you. 
Any other messages? Just listen, thank it, be grateful, take it in. We're not attaching anything to these thoughts. We're just listening to them. Because what happens is we tend to hide our gifts or, or sort of hold them close to ourselves for many reasons, whether they've been used, abused, you know, or uh, made fun of or anything that we've had ex experience around with our gifts. Now they could be something that causes us to, to bring it even closer to ourselves and not share the gifts or share them very little or only share them with people we trust. And how do we know who to trust? So just become mindful that your gift is yours. It's your gift. It's nobody else's gift. It doesn't belong to anyone else. When you hear that, how does that feel? Your gift is for you. You get to decide. You get to share it. You get to express it. You get to use it. You get to experience it. Whatever it is, it's yours. Okay? And then when we think about what we do with that gift, we get to decide. So if I'm going to sing, I'm going to share it with people that I'm sharing it because it's fun or I'm sharing it because I know I'm going to make money doing it, but I'm doing it because it's something that feels good and feels right to me. And if anyone expresses something negative about my gift or tries to use it or tries to abuse it, or make fun of it, I get to set a boundary with that. I get to say, that wasn't for you. That was for me. I shared that because it was my way of showing love. It's my way of giving you something, gifting my gifts to, to you or to the world. Accept it or don't, that's okay with me. This is my gift, okay? So go through that as many times as you need to, because what that can do is shift your energy around believing in your gift, owning your gift, accepting your gift, embracing and embodying your gift, and also being able to share it because you know it's meant to be shared. It's only meant to be shared if you feel it in your heart to share it, right? So nobody can tell us anything about our gifts that we don't possibly already know about them ourselves. So if somebody tells us something about our gifts and we believe what they're saying, whether it's positive or negative, then we walk around with that already, whether they said it or not. So there's some part of ourselves that's already aware that our gifts can be taken or damaged or harmed or used, right? And so we get to really step more fully into embracing and accepting and loving our gifts just for what it is. So what I'm gonna suggest this week is that we each really sit down with our gifts. Write them down if you feel like it. Spend some time with each individual gift. You know, you could write all the gifts down in one, you know, on one sheet of paper, but then spend some time with each individual gift that is yours. And do this process with it. Just ask the question, is there anything that comes to mind when I think about this gift? Is there anything this gift would like to share with me? Is there anything I feel negatively or positive about this gift? And just ask it questions, you know, just ask the gift and yourself questions about the gift and just be with it, you know, just listen, just be present and listen to what comes, comes up. What this might be able to do is help us step more fully into our gifts and live more presently through our gifts and our gifts through us. So that when we show up, we're showing up authentically. When we show up, we're showing up vulnerably because authenticity and vulnerability are two really, really difficult things for people to express. Because when we do, sometimes it can be taken advantage of. Often it gets taken advantage of, not always. And the more confident we are and the stronger we become about our convictions and our gifts and our boundaries, 
the more we're able to present ourselves in a way that is healthy for us and the world. Because our gifts are here for us and they're here to be shared when we feel it is necessary and important. So if you have a fear around one of your gifts that might be something that most people are uncomfortable with, could be something about, you know, a gift that most people don't have, the gift of perception, the gift of empathy, the gift of hearing things that aren't clear for everyone else, seeing things that aren't clear for everyone else, knowing things that not everyone knows. Whatever those gifts are that are kind of hidden talents that a lot of people don't understand and might even take advantage of, it's important for us to become confident in them before we put them out into the world. So get clear, get close, and love your gifts and become confident in them so much so that we get to show up vulnerably and authentically and present our gifts to the world in a way that's healthy for us and for the planet. This is a big ask. So give yourself permission to really take your time with this one, whether it takes a couple of days, a few weeks, over the next couple of months, just really check in with your gifts individually, separately. And then after a while, spend some time with two of them together, you know, put them together and use them in, co in concert with each other in harmony with each other. Then do three or four of them together. If that makes sense, then maybe you create something new into the world that's never been presented. You know, when we can combine our gifts in a way that actually show up as this is what I'm here for. This is what I'm here to bring to the world. Who knows? You may create something brand new. I have confidence in you. I have confidence in myself. We can do this. Have a blessed and beautiful week, my friends. I'll see you next week on Tuesdays with Tara.